I think I poked my eyeball. Hi guys! So today I'm back with trying the look, which means that I'm going to try out the looks that I suggested for a certain palette. And I'm still on the smoked palette. I always say smoky palette, but it's called Smoked Palette by Urban Decay. And it's the cute one with the zipper on the side. And then we already tried out two looks and today I'm going to attempt look three, which is called Midnight. And that's a very blue look. I love it. Well, I've actually never done this look before because the blue is not very wearable, I guess. At least to me, it doesn't look very wearable and there was no occasion to do this makeup. So let's try today. There are 10 steps to it and we're gonna go start with step one. Apply freestyle from crease to brow. Freestyle again is this nude color over here and I'm going to do this. I always have the same problem with this color. I mean, this is just almost exactly my skin tone, so it doesn't really show up a lot on me, I guess. Step two, highlight brow bone with kinky tracing just along the brow arch. Blend with freestyle. And again, not much to see. A little lighter, I guess, but it's not, well, it's not visibly there. Step three. Step three, step three. Using perversion pencil, line upper and lower lash line about halfway across from the outer corner towards the inner smudge. The perversion pencil comes with the palette. It's just this normal 24 seven glide on eye pencil by Urban Decay. And um, I'm going to try this one. I'm having a, uh, I'm just not going to address the fact that I dropped a thing again. Okay, I have a smudge brush and I'm going to smudge the eyeliner with this smudgy brush. So that's what I have so far. Now I'm going to smudge the eyeliner. Why can I not get things even? <sighs> but normally that's not a problem, so I think I just keep going. Okay, step four. Sweep Evidence all the way across upper lash line, blending into perversion. So Evidence, of course, is the blue color and it looks like this. I've never used it before, so it's completely new. And uh, where's my to? Uh, upper lash line, completely the way across. I'm going to use an ankle eyeliner brush for this kind of, uh, an ankle eyeshadow brush, which looks like this. And I'm going to sweep across as best as possible. Okay, so we have this. I'm, I'm, I, I noticed that I forgot a line. Evidence should extend slightly past the inner corner of lash line. So they want me to bring the color down a little bit more on the inside. Do you think that looks right? Maybe a little bit blending over here because... Of Step 5. Apply evidence over the entire upper lid, blending up and out the crease into a soft rounded shape. So this round shape is pretty good shown on the picture and I'm trying my best to get it like that. Okay, so I brought it up and out. I need to wipe away some axes. Here we have it until now, a round shape. This is kind of difficult, I have to say. Because, you know, your face isn't a flat surface. You have to go over the bones and crevices. But I think you can do quite a good job with the blending brush, trying to blend as best as you can. But wow, that's intense. Next step, where are we? Step six. To add depth, blend black out into the crease from outer to inner corner, fusing into evidence. Make sure the color you see coming out of the crease is evidence. So add more if needed. Okay, so we're going to apply some blackout. Blackout is of course the black color in the palette and it's down here, there you can see it. We've used it before and I'm going to apply this in the crease. Okay, step seven, down blend. So that's explained in the booklet what down blend means. It means, well, I think that's the problem we have right now, that the color is not 
blending as nicely on the edge where I would like to have it and they are recommending that you can use a lighter color something like freestyle from the beginning and a fluffy brush I will take my blending brush and bring the freestyle over it to make it a little bit more seamless and a little bit more soft as it would have been airbrushed on so we're gonna go try this now so I have to say that kind of helped it is a little bit more soft now but still my left eye looks different than my right one it's not the end of the world I think it looks acceptable Step 8. Gently trace evidence along lower lash line, thickening at the outer corner and connecting with the upper lash line. Okay, so again I'm taking my angled eyeliner brush, eyeshadow brush, and um, applying the evidence on the lower lash line. Okay, so I think I got this one. That looks actually pretty nice. Step 9. Line the lower waterline all the way across with perversion pencil. Okay, I already explained in one of the last videos why I'm not using the perversion pencil for this step. I'm using another one by Alverde and I'm going to line my waterline as best as possible. Okay, so I lined the waterline. That always makes a smoky look way more intense instead of if you're not doing it. I really do like the water lining. Looks good. Okay, step 10. Line the upper water line. No. I'm nervous, I can't talk. Line the upper water line all the way across and into the inner corner with perversion. Make sure the upper lower and lower lines meet. I still cannot tie line. Ah! I think I poked my eyeball. Ah, okay, I got more than last time out oh, of my contacts. I got more than last time. I think I'm about this way from the outer corner, but I can't go over my pupil. This is just too scary. I did it. <laughs> okay, is that enough for you? Uh, no, that's enough. I, I just can't do it. No, okay, sorry. I'm going to finish the look with some mascara. Today I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Mascara. It's the False Lash Architect one and of course it's the waterproof one. And I'm going to um, give my top and bottom lashes a good coat. So here we are. That's the midnight look. What do you guys think? I think to me it looks pretty cool and very editorial but I can't think of a single occasion where I would wear this makeup because it is a lot. I mean, that's a lot. I don't know, maybe for some, you know, I went to the ballet a few weeks ago. Maybe I could have worn this look over there or maybe if you go to the opera, you know, like dress up really fancy. But I mean, that is just super dark and super intense. Not that I don't like it. I do. But... It is one of the strongest looks out of the booklet, I would say, because I have worn a lot of the looks out already, but not this one. And I think for understandable reasons. Well, normally, well, you know what, I would wear it. But I mean, it's a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. I feel like a secret agent.